Morning. Good guy. I'm meeting Clifton here today. I'm hoping man Clifton can get down to the root of where is all this animosity coming from with Ashley and Joy. At one point, I feel like they were cordial and building a friendship, and now it's, it's this. They had to be physically pulled apart from almost fighting. That's unacceptable. This is your first time here? Not yet, I've never yeah, been here before. Yeah, yeah. Food's good? Food is amazing. So I'm glad you're back on your feet. Did they ever figure out exactly like what caught, what triggered everything? So I had some um, blood clots that ended up like getting on the nerves of my spine. And right, right, right. Prevent me from like walking. And so they said until they broke up, and I wouldn't be able to stand up straight, you know, do any regular. Did you do a lot of physical therapy? Yeah, so like I'm in that like three, three days a week. I haven't slept much, going to physical therapy. This back surgery was no joke. I thought I was gonna be in and out, it wasn't. My recovery's been a little slower than, than what I expected it to be. But quick restyle, he wanted to chop it up about what happened at the Christmas Eve Eve party about the ladies, our ladies. Well, thank, thank you. you. We can have a discussion, but if it was the other way around, I would let Ashley and Joy handle it. I'm not interjecting here. Missed you, man, at the uh, Christmas Eve at the Silvers. I heard about it. <laughs> Uh, it was interesting how uh, things unfolded. Did you see what happened? Joy walks in. She ain't like walking and making a scene like, hey, I'm here, everybody. Just came in. Ashley goes to her. Like, yo, hello, you're in my house. I mean, I ain't spoke to you in weeks. That's literally how, like, she didn't speak to Ashley, she didn't speak to another. That doesn't seem right to me, but. You know, Ashley pulled into the other room, they started talking. I feel like, I feel like it was five seconds. You know, from talking to all you have, ma, 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 ma. Well, I'm glad I wasn't there, because it could have been bad or worse. But what's, what is that supposed to mean? I, I'm confused on that one. For me, another reason I want us to sit, me and you to rap is that, like, figure out where all this started. And once again, you tell me your side, this is my understanding. Joy told Ashley that, you know, y'all were married, and she said something to her best friend, Alicia. From that, Joy, like, flipped, like, why would you tell her we married? Right. Joy shared something with her, Ashley, in confidence. Right. Right? About us, our personal life, right? Mm -hmm. Ashley brought it up in an audience. She would think that if you share something with somebody in confidence that it stays with that person. So did Joy say like, don't say nothing? Absolutely. For Ashley, you know, I think Ashley, when she found out Joy was upset, she apologized. She apologized a number of times. I mean, I'll tell you what I know about my wife. My wife apologized once and leaves If you don't accept it, she keep moving. If I do something wrong to someone, no, I can't dictate how they forgive me. If I apologize, it's up to them when they accept it how they feel and how they move forward. It has nothing to do with me. You didn't feel that it was genuine. You have a friend that you're trusting and you're building. But they're not friends. So you can't use that as an excuse. Yeah, but they're not friends. Okay, so they so they were building a friendship. Let's right, just say right. that. So we fell in love on TV, so we wanted something just to have for us. You like, feel like Ashley spoiled your moment. Like, Absolutely. So now y'all can't have the wedding. We can still have the wedding, but it's like the excitement would be gone. If you're looking at a totem pole excitement level, it ain't gonna be the same excitement level. So originally we've probably been here for people that actually wanted to see. Now it's gonna be down here. I understand you, but for me, if I don't want nobody to know, don't say nothing. I wouldn't tell you something that I'm gonna think is gonna go somewhere else. Right. But know? I wouldn't tell you something that I didn't want to get out there. Like, cause, but, if you, but if you said right. in confidence, right. right, and you think that we building a friendship, mm -hmm. right, you would think that that person that you're talking to, the same way that you're telling me that you would hold the information that I'm giving you, right. that it would stay there. If I tell you something today, I'm like, yo, yo, don't tell nobody you're gonna go tell him. I'm gonna tell you, don't tell me that. Don't, don't Come tell on, me man. That, but, but don't do that. Of course he's gonna take up for her. I mean, I don't expect anything less. However, was Ashley wrong? Hell yeah. So to me, I'm like, all right, well, now is she a target? It's it like Joy's a target. Yes. Maybe she feels some kind of way about Joy. Like, but jealousy? But like, I, I mean, if, is it like a threat that we hear we came from another show? Or is it, you know, competition? You know what I'm saying? One leg, one keep one leg up, one mm -hmm. the other leg up, higher than the other one. Like, come on, Joy and Clifton. Like, y'all believe that the Silvers are using the petties to for a come up? Okay. All right. If y'all believe that, I got some waterfront property in the Sahara Desert that I'm selling right now for dirt cheap. I'll sell it to y'all because y'all believe anything. If Joy and Ashley don't rock, where does that leave Clifton to quit? I don't get involved in in women's business. Me neither. Like, Never. Like, you know, of course, if we're in a predicament where you have to protect yours and I got to protect mine, then we're going to have to do it, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is.